So do you know what some of my favorite comments are from many of you? It's one that asks, Matt, you said the Bible made you a millionaire, right? Well, is it also Tony Robbins? It is also Patrick Ben David? Is it watching this movie or reading this book? But Matt, wait, which one is it? Very simple, all of it. I'm simply a byproduct in a combination of the books I've read, the mentors that's in my corner, the movies I've watched, the conferences I've attended, and practically everything I've consumed. So in honor of the Venom 2 trailer release, I'm gonna be sharing three lessons I took away from the first Venom movie that can help you become a first generation cash flow millionaire starting in three, two, <laughs> the hell is that? <sighs> Ivan, edit that out, let's take him to the top. I'm gonna be sharing three lessons I took away from the first Venom movie that can help you become a first generation cash flow millionaire. Starting in three, two, one. Never short stopping, now I'm winning like I'm Jida. Steady through the rigor, yeah, I'm getting bigger. In them chances, now I'm making seven figures like What's cracking everybody? My new smart guy Matt Zapala here, healing to you from Dallas, Texas. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Our next goal is to get to 150,000 subs at the shooting of this video. We're less than 29,000 subs away from that goal because we want to award a church, charity, or nonprofit $5,000 from this YouTube channel on behalf of its viewers and subscribers to that church charity or non-profit. So please help us get to that goal, 150,000 subs. Please subscribe below. All right, so let's get right into it. What do we learn from Venom, the movie Venom, that will translate into you becoming a first generation cash flow millionaire? So number one, the power of recreating yourself. You see, in this movie, the main character got infected by an alien parasite, which eventually would evolve into this creature that remind him of his thinking thinking. You see, it was a poison that was saying, listen, man, you're a loser. Man, if you don't eat something, I'm gonna eat your liver. If you don't do something, I'm gonna do some bad things. You see, in your journey becoming a first generation cash flow millionaire, if you have a background like myself, immigrant family, you're broke, busted, disgusted, you have all the things pushing you against the wall, you have your whole life, and you're getting hit up against the ropes, you're getting low blows, you have so many things going against you, you're thinking, how can I financially get ahead, let alone become financially independent, let alone becoming a first generation cash flow millionaire. So here's the thing. Once his character got a hold of this creature, this venom, this guy can do anything. He says, you know what? I'm going to control you. I'm going to put you at bay. I'm not going to let this venom or this poison get to me. You see that poison, like a negative thinking, bad attitude, a negative mindset about everything going on in your life, letting these collectors, letting a situation affect you, this pandemic affect you. See, that's an attitude of making sure that you're not getting anywhere. And sadly, when you are in a position where you have a bad attitude, not even God can help you. Because when you got a bad attitude, listen, good luck. You can be stuck in your same old, same old type of thinking because you have not said, you know what, I'm gonna recreate myself. I've thought my way through my life for 20 years. I thought my way like this for 30 years, which is broke, busted, disgusted, it's poison. My background, my upbringing, all the things that have come against me, that's poison to me if I don't what? Control it. And once his character, controlled this venom, once his character in this movie Venom controlled the poison, guess what? People didn't recognize him. And see, that's what could happen to you. When you say, you know what, I'm gonna control all the things that I grew up with, and you know what, I'm not gonna be entitled to success, I'm gonna work hard for it. I'm not waiting for somebody to put a million dollars on my table, I'm gonna work hard for it. I'm not waiting for somebody to open a door for me, I'm gonna start knocking doors for myself. I'm not waiting for somebody to uh, uh, introduce somebody to me, I'm gonna go out there and shake hands with people. I'm gonna be a mayor of my city. I'm gonna let people know that I'm in business, that I'm changing my life, because I'm recreating myself. Your family's not gonna recognize you, the people who went to high school not gonna recognize you, the people that went to college didn't recognize you, the people that love and care about, they're not gonna recognize you. Why? Because you decided to control that venom. You decided to control that poison. So so if you want to become a first generation cash flow millionaire, what this movie reminded me is that there's a power in recreating yourself. So if you affirm that you are doing that, put in the comment section below, I am in control of me. And by the way, side note, the only real person who's really in control of you is God. Between you and God, boom, that's where you put your faith in control and you let that control the poison, the victim, the venom situation. You put that at bay because you are recreating yourself. You and God are in control of you. Number two, taking off your mental governor. But before I explain what I'm thinking about, let me explain to you what a governor is. 
You see, when I was in the military, they used to put these governors on the Humvees. You put these governors on these tractors. Even though these engines can go so much faster, so much quicker, so much stronger, this governor limited. So therefore, for the safety of the operator, for the safety of the driver, for the safety, because you don't want to hit it too hard. Next thing you know, this tractor goes over the flight deck of the Navy ship. Or you want to go too far in this Humvee, and next thing you know, it puts other Marines at risk because you didn't know how to handle the power of this Humvee. So that's why the military installed these governors to protect the operators of these vehicles because they knew the wrong operator, the wrong handler, they didn't know how to handle it, they could put other people's lives at risk. But the flip side is this. What happens if you do take off this governor? Then the engine and the transmission and the full horsepower of this vehicle then is fully experienced and not limited to a certain miles per hour. You know, it's referenced in the book Winning that Tim Grover talked about, get off this limitation and let your full horsepower and the full engine of your desire, your dreams, your goals take over. Stop limiting yourself. So translate this back to the movie. Once Venom started pushing this guy's limits, once this guy named Eddie in the movie he says, no, man, I can't do this. I can't do that. Venice says, no, no, no. Yeah, we can. Yo, yo, there's a wall coming. No, no, no. I'm, I'm going to knock down the wall. Yo, there's a bridge here. We can't cross it. No, we're going to leap over this bridge. So many things were happening along the way, along the journey, that this guy was saying, no, based on where I came from, based on what I know, based on what I've done in my entire life, this is impossible. But again, once venom, poison, was put under control and it removed the mental governor, guess what happened? Together... They did some great things together. You know, Tim Grover, back to Tim Grover, he references this part of the book, his first book, Relentless, when he coached Michael Jordan, when he coached Kobe Bryant, when he coached Dwayne Wade. He said, this is the ability for you to tap into the dark side. And sometimes the dark side is a very, very, very dark place. A lot of people don't understand. But if used for the right intentions, man, it can do some amazing things. However, sadly, if it's not put into control, and sadly, when it's not put into using for the good of things, it can do the worst of things. And my last thought about this point, listen, I'm repping right now the United States of America and who hasn't been talking about Simone Biles, who hasn't talked about the goat of gymnastics, who hasn't talked about her stepping down for her mental, for mental health, uh, to be able to wrap her mind around being the face of gymnastics, being the face of this uh, uh, a team that was expected to do a lot of great things. And she has stepped down. And a lot of people were saying, hey, she's a hero. And a lot of people like, say, what? She's supposed to be this. She's supposed to be that. Because she said, no, I need to take care of my mental health. Listen, well, however you guys decide upon that, and by the way, I'm just curious what you thought about Simone Biles. Put it in the comment section below. Do you think she was right in stepping down? Do you think she was wrong in stepping down? I mean, after all, this is the Olympics. You kind of got a feeling of how I feel about it. But back to the mental governor. She's saying, listen, I was feeling the twisties. I was getting lost in the air. I was feeling these type of things. My aunt, sadly, my aunt died during the Olympics. Suddenly, Simone Biles' limitations and understanding of where she was going and how she was operating during Olympics, the mental governor came back in and caused her to say, you know what, let me take a step back. Now, some people may or may not agree with her, but still, the act of her saying, you know what, there's a limitation to what I can do. I need to take care of my mental health. And by the way, there's people in our camp that say, you know what, there's another opposite to mental health. It's called mental strength. So whatever it is that you're looking to do, keep in mind that as much as you want to become a first generation cash flow millionaire, as much as you want to succeed and find levels of prosperity and success, Having that mental governor will limit you based on the speed and levels that you can achieve. The question for you is, how big is your dream? What life did you sign up for? What expectations did you have to get you to a certain level? And what price were you willing to pay? Because here's the thing. If you want this, you want your dreams up here, you want these things, you want the success, guess what? You have to understand the demand of those dreams. And sometimes the demand of those dreams forces you to take off that mental governor because then you need to skyrocket up here to take the amount of time, energy, money necessary to have this level of success. Sometimes the third part about that process is people just don't want to pay the price. People just don't want to meet the demand because the demand is just too much. Again, if you're clear about what you want and you're clear about where you want to go, then you have to understand this mental governor thing, it's got to be removed. The question is, are you willing to do that? So if you're firm with me that you're going to remove that mental governor, to remove the limitations, regardless of where you came from, regardless if you had enough money to start a business, regardless if you had any financial limitations, physical limitations, mental limitations, spiritual limitations, background limitations, ethnic limitations, country limitations, you have to affirm to yourself that when there's a will, there's a way. There's a reason why 86% of all millionaires out there on the Forbes 500 list are all self-made. Oftentimes people think, well, they're a millionaire because someone just gave it to them. No, 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 no. 
of all millionaires on the Forbes Fortune 500 richest people's list are all self-made. So if you want to say, man, I'm removing this mental governor from my life, put it here in the comment section below. I am finding my full potential. I am finding my full potential. Number three, you cannot lie to the man or the woman in the mirror. You see, in this movie, Venom, which was this alien parasite, was attached not only to Eddie's body, but is attached to his brain. Venom knew what he was thinking. Venom knew his limitations. Venom knew the dark things that he was thinking about when nobody was hearing what he was thinking about because he wasn't verbalizing it, but Venom knew. And in one-on-one conversation with Venom, his character Eddie, they would have a dialogue and Venom would remind him, hey bro, you're a loser. Hey man, you're thinking this way. Hey, you're thinking that way. I'm reminding you of what you're already thinking. So here's the thing. You can tell everybody around you. You can tell everybody, I'm gonna change my life. I'm gonna be debt free. I'm gonna be financially independent. I'm gonna have a strategy. I'm gonna do a business plan. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do that. You declare your intentions. And everybody's like, yeah, awesome, good job. We can't wait for you to do it. And in the meantime, that feeling of affirmation, that feeling of accomplishment, that feeling of, hey, but people are supporting you, that feels good for an instant. But at the end of the day, guess what you gotta do when you go home? When you wake up in the morning, you brush your teeth, you do your personal hygiene. You get ready for your day, you're putting yourself together. Guess what that man or woman is gonna tell you? Are you true to your word or are you lying to yourself? You can lie to everybody else externally, but you cannot lie to the man or the woman in the mirror. If you wanna become a first generation cash flow millionaire and nobody in your family has ever become financially independent, nobody in your family has ever become a six figure income, or nobody in your family has ever become a millionaire, let alone that, guess what? They're gonna be chirping. They're gonna try to tell you, let me talk you off your dreams, talk you off your dreams, why? Because in your family, you're starting to raise standards. And you gotta look yourself in the mirror and say, you know what? In regards to my friends or family, guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna raise my standards. Yes, I'm gonna be annoying to everybody. You know why you're gonna be annoying to everybody? Because you're constantly affirming to yourself, to that woman or man in the mirror that you're not lying to yourself. Guess what's gonna happen to you? You start raising standards, you start raising standards, you start raising standards your expectations of what you're supposed to be doing starts increasing, guess what happens to everybody else around you? They're gonna be reminded about what they should be doing and they don't want to do it, they're not willing to do it, although they love the final product of what you're about to accomplish, but yet they don't want to meet the demand of their own dreams and you're going to annoy them because you're gonna be reminding them what they should be doing and yet they're not doing it. But guess what you gotta do? They can lie to you all they like, they can chirp you down all they like, they can naysay against you, like they can doubt you all they like, but you cannot say, hey, I'm gonna listen to that. Because the man or the woman in the mirror is gonna lie to me because I'm gonna accomplish something. And you gotta constantly tell yourself. And the man or woman's gotta tell you back that you're not a loser. That you're not somebody that's got a pipe in a dream that you're gonna think about it but never accomplish anything. You gotta remind yourself that man or woman in the mirror has gotta reaffirm back to you that you know what, this day is gonna be an awesome day. That you're gonna take advantage of everything that's coming your way. You're gonna make your calls, you're gonna be disciplined in your daily activities. You're gonna focus on money-making activities. You're gonna take care of your customers above and beyond what they expect. The people that you pay bills to, you're gonna pay them early. The people that you do business with, you overtip them. You play offense with your bills. You play offense with your credit cards. You pay them early. And they see your credit cards start going up. Guess what? Those things start happening in your life. Those daily habits start happening to your life. Guess what that man or woman is gonna say back to you? Man, you're doing a great job. Can't believe you've done this before. You've never experienced this before. you never accomplished this before. You've never been in this uncharted territory and you start enjoying a lot of things that a lot of people around you have never experienced before. There's a saying that says, today I will do what others will not to live a day tomorrow that others cannot. Why? Because you see this window of time of opportunity that you're recreating yourself, that you're taking off this mental governor, the man or the woman can easily have a conversation with you that you understand and you take in that affirms that you're taking positive action necessary. So therefore you become a first generation cash flow millionaire that you say this this generation is gonna be changed because of my decisions today and quick spoiler alert <laughs> the last sentence in this movie when eddie's walking off and venom's inside him and he's having a conversation with him internally so eddie says to venom so what do you want to do today and venom responds to him by saying yo me and you together not individually but you me and you together man we can do anything imagine if you can control that inner venom, that inner poison, and not let it corrupt you, not let it talk you down from your goals and your dreams, not make you think that you aren't worth it. Imagine what you can do when you have that under control and use it for a positive good. Man, you, yes, you watching this video, you 
can do anything if you're willing to do the work and if you're willing to have all these things I just talked about in this video apply to you on a daily basis and watch it start to manifest. You do the work, you have a, you have a blueprint, you have people, the right people in your corner, you have the right conditions at you, even though you're in the wrong scenario, but you have the right conditions at you, guess what? You can do anything. And guys, if any of the things in my life can help you, watch these two videos right here. Number one is don't quit. Check that video out, obviously it speaks for itself. And number two, watch me. When everybody's trying to talk you down, you're into a conversation to yourself because you control that poison, you control the inner venom. You just tell everybody, watch me. So please check out this video. That being said, guys, I don't know your thoughts, your comments, your feedback, your questions, you agree with me, you don't agree with me, please put it in the comment section below. I do my very best to respond back to you. And please, if you haven't done so already, if you're watching this on Facebook, make sure you click like and follow our business page, Money Smart Guy. And if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you click subscribe, hit notifications to be alerted the next time we upload our next episode. That being said, from Dallas, Texas, I'm your Money Smart Guy. And until we meet again, continue to live smart, continue to live smart, and be money smart today. Let's <laughs> go.